Hi Carol, it's me Joyce. I'm right here. I'm going to be uh, giving you your critique now. And um, so I read your um, comments on whether or not you don't know if you got dark enough here. And generally for most students I'd say, yeah, you could put some more darks in here, but you left all of this white space right in here that gives you the option to do a few things with it. And my critique for you is to keep moving in the direction you're moving in because these colors are stunning. They're just, they're luscious, they're gorgeous. It must be from living in Hawaii that you see these wonderful colors. Um, my suggestion to you is that I would mix up a little uh, transparent yellow and you can take some of the uh, permanent rose if you like. Um, and I would mix up a variety of oranges, okay? Now, I'm going to show you on mine what we're talking about up here. Do you see some of these punchy oranges that I have in here? And there's a, a really wonderful, nice, bright intensity that I have um, and some pinks over here. So what I would like to see you do before we add any more darks is because I'm thinking maybe you just don't need um, you don't need you don't need to go uh, darker, but you what you could do is bring in some of the lights, you know, some of the yellows, some of the sunlight uh, that's uh, transparent to this flower, and these darks will be dark enough. Okay, and those are you know it it just because I'm painting dark to light does not always mean that we have to um, always start that way and finish that way. Sometimes you get to just let the painting rest and then you can figure it out as you move along, okay? So now let's find ourselves a nice little, you know, some orange mixture of orange. Um, you know, so I, I in my palette, I'm going to show you my palette one second. I'm mixing it up. Um, okay, ready? Here we go. So in my palette, I'm going to tilt, well, I can't do that. I'm going to bring it up to the camera right there. See that? I'm talking about not that up, upper part. I'm talking about this lower part right in here, um, here and here. So we're going to mix some medium to light values of orange and, um, using Transparent yellow, transparent yellow, and permanent rose. You can use a little of the um, uh, permanent alizarin crimson if you like to, and away we go. So I'm going to paint right onto your um, printout that I have, and this is uh, this is printer paper, so this is going to be interesting, right? So see that you could bring. You could bring a darker orange. You could bring a little bit lighter yellow in here if you want. And even while it's still wet, I would, you know, maybe you want to drop in a little bit more red and let it just mingle and mix, okay? And then you could do a little more pinks over here. Okay, and you can start coming down into the stamens. And I know you know this, but I'm just going to help you along a little. Okay, because your I mean, your flower is just beautiful, so you're on a good path. Now um, I'm going to pull this over. Well, let's see if I can pull this over just a little bit so I can see it. Get my arm in there. Um, right here, okay. The little stamens are right about in there, and oh, I like that. You've got already have them separated, and then you can come in with a little bit of a lighter yellow and finish off the stamens because they're ready to be glazed. Okay, and then you're going to work around, work around, work around the, the center part. And I'm going to send you the link to everyone else, uh, the other the other two students that handed their work in. Um, I'm going to send, uh, I'll send you the link so you can see my critiques for them as well. And, you know, it may or may not apply. It may be valuable information or it may be just, you know, maybe information that won't, that does not work for you know your particular painting at this time okay 
So see, um, just go ahead and do that. And then you're going to work in the center and you'll finish watching the video and or uh, look at the handout. Finish watching that. Now while this is wet, okay, I'm going to show you. And I, here we go, a little bit of green in there. Tap, 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 tap. And you can let it, it should bleed out. If this was watercolor paper, it would bleed out right there. I'm hoping it would bleed out. Okay, so, so um, yeah, you can detail this up. This is something you don't have to do right away. This is just something you can leave alone and work on the rest of the painting. Okay, so I think you're coming along nicely. Um, up in here, it's going to be the same thing. Um, you know, you can just go ahead and add. Um, you'll, you'll, I'm going to uh, finish this off just a little bit. Okay. So, and I'll scan this and I'll send this to you. So by the time you get the video, you should have this printed out and then you can take a look at your, um, at your critique. Now, if you see right in here, this, mine got a little too dark because this is the, a demo that I keep using over and over again. Um, but that's, you know, it, you get the idea how dark it can get down in here. So, so you get this wonderful depth. So don't think it has to be dark, the same value, the same color all the way around. You can find, um, you can find different values and different combinations of pinks and, and, and yellows that will, you know, it'll, it'll help this pop. Now, when I bring my stem portion up, I avoid the, that, you know, the top of the ball area there and just don't, you know, keep that dry. And then what you can do is drop in a little bit more pigment right underneath there. Boom. See, and then those little guys, they kind of stand out a little bit more too. Okay. So this detailing of this, it's a little, it's um, detailing, yeah. It's time consuming detailing, but um, you don't have to do it all in one sitting. You know, you can come back and forth and move it back and forth, let it dry and then glaze over a few more areas. And before you know it, you're gonna have a completed um, circular center of this flower. Okay, so one more time, I can see that, uh, I'm going to show you one more time. I'm going to put one big old um, yellow right in here. Let's let's look at this because this this is a little lighter in there, right? And there's your your light pink might go in there. You can go ahead and drop in a little bit of yellow here. Okay, and pull it on up. Pull it on up. Don't be afraid of the yellow. I don't know why you'd be afraid of yellow, but. Um, <laughs> And um, the pinks, again, a little bit more pink. And don't, you know, while it's wet, you can drop the, you know, drop a little bit of pink in there and let it bleed and mingle about. You don't want too many brush strokes. Just kind of keep it nice and clean and transparent, like as you, um, as you have done in your, um, in your painting. Okay. <sighs> so that's about it for now. Um, this part. You know, you can you can detail that out later on, and we can review it at the end. Like next week, when you turn it in again, I will, I'll give you a few more. Th that'll be a longer critique, too, because um, there's going to be so much more for us to look at overall, the overall picture. Sometimes you just leave some of these areas alone if there's something that's bugging you or something that seems not dark enough and you're not quite sure then just leave it alone. And then once all the darks, are, the surrounding the surrounding uh, background comes into play, you'll be able to go back in. And I'm gonna demonstrate this too, because this week you're gonna get a lot more uh, demonstrations, not just the, um, the video. The video is just to help you guys jump off so, and, uh, somewhere. And um, it gives you a little bit of guidance, but I'm gonna I'm gonna detail this out a little bit more, and um, I'll be painting not on this, but on another one. So I show you the background, and I'm gonna I'm going to show you how to do your your white flowers, and down in here how to get this jungle look, and then the blue. Well, let's turn it up like that, and then the blue skies. You know, it's gonna go from a dark blue to a light blue, I believe. Okay, 
So that's it for now. Thank you, Carol. I hope you're having a great day over in Hawaii. I love, I love those islands. So, um, anyway, um, yeah, I kind of envy you being over there. <laughs> okay, thanks so much, and I'll be talking to you soon.